Hello, everyone. I welcome you all to this uh, special session of the Rubber Industry Tech Talk, hosted by Technobase. And in today's session, we are going to have a conversation on the IRMRA's uh, 24th Rubber Conference and Expo 2023, which will be held very soon on 21st to 23rd September in Chennai, India, at the Chennai Trade Center. I'm, I'm with the uh, chief convener of this conference and also the director of the I IRMRA, the well known. Uh, rubber technologist and also industry rubber industry person, Dr. K. Rajkumar is the director of the IRMRA. And in today's session, we'll learn about all this, this event and also uh, IRMRA's activities so that we have a better understanding of cooperation with IRMRA. You, know, you may benefit from the, some of the presentations and also the projects they do for the industry benefit. So let's jump into the discussion with uh, Dr. K. Rajkumar. Raj, thank you very much um, for accepting the invitation and also taking a time out on, on this weekend uh, to talk about this uh, you know, IRMRA conference. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Peram, and thank uh, uh, Technobis also uh, for organizing this important, uh, you know, conversation with reference to this uh, uh, upcoming, you know, conference come Expo. <clears throat> In fact, uh, uh, I'm glad to know that, you know, a uh, uh, lot of, uh, you know, technologists, academicians, and many, you know, delegates from even foreign, uh, they are all registered for the conference. So I'm looking forward with a lot of excitement to assemble in, you know, Chennai to welcome all of them, basically. <laughs> super, super. Okay, let's get to know more about it. And uh, before we get into the conference, um, you know, one thing I wanted to congratulate and also best wishes to the IRMRA for celebrating 65 years now and then since established. Yeah, that's so, right. How, you, know, you are the director of IRMRA. I don't think you are 65 now, right? <laughs> so, Obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how is the journey of IRMRA for the last 65 years? Yes, uh, uh, you know, the uh, IRMRA is, you know, born in 1958. It is as old as uh, DRDO, as old as Baba Atomic Research Center, as old as IIT Bombay. I always say that. So someone thought the nuclear research, the defense research along with rubber. So that's the kind of, you know, I always say, so that much importance have been given by our predecessors. So I salute them basically for such a, wonderful initiative and um, of course the last 65 years it has undergone tremendous changes in different phases basically and of course I started my journey about uh, 23 24 years back of course 99 since 99 I am there I joined as a senior scientific officer and at different level I have grown up and then you know uh, last seven eight years I am heading as uh, director and uh, Obviously, you know, uh, initially it was started with a small R&D setup for supporting, uh, you know, small scale R&D, uh, you know, for the uh, small industries in and around Bombay. Later on, it actually it was under the CSAR, uh, you know, it was started with the ages of CSAR and uh, slowly it gone up. And then finally, in 1978, I believe sometime it was transferred under the Ministry of Industry at that time. And then um, now it is, it is functioning under the DPIIT, Ministry of Commerce, Industry, Government of India. Uh, and it is, of course, functioning as an autonomous body. And with the government support, uh, it has established several, uh, uh, you know, uh, product testing center and uh, many other, uh, you know, uh, facilities, infrastructure to support not only the non-tire, but also the tire industry now, actually. So the recently, you know, we have uh, established last 10 years before, of course, we established, uh, you know, center of excellence for uh, tire research, testing and certifications, especially to support the, you know, ISA marking and, uh, uh, you know, safety aspects of uh, tire testing, basically, you know, where uh, and the, there was a change of infrastructure in, uh, you know, the road infrastructure in India and lots of, uh, you know, uh, tire burst occurred and accidents and also that, that was the time IRMRA came up with its uh, uh, center of excellence for tire testing and it really went very well and uh, we could uh, support government for implementing uh, 
the safety aspects of tire and we have grown very well and that made us in fact you know IRMRA as self sustaining institute uh, we we have gone up and um, uh, last 7 years in fact it was uh, uh, under my tenure as director we have also uh, you know created uh, branches in uh, south as well as eastern india and of course the one more uh, uh, is coming up very soon in north india our government has uh, con given cons consent for supporting that as well so with the help of government we would be able to establish very soon in north also so it's it's grown up uh, you know in a phased manner and uh, last 15 20 years i can say that more into research publications and uh, product development consultancy uh, in fact you know we support a lot with uh, you know consultancy program for the industry small industries and that's how we are able to you know uh, grow very well actually uh, more about we can talk obviously yeah. so, so it, it's, yeah. it's a, in fact uh, it's a huge uh, uh, you know uh, year of the 65 years and I, I just told about it and uh, you know the, uh, you know transforming into the you know, quality certifications uh, you know enable accreditation for the laboratories bas recognitions and many recognitions including dgms director general of mines and safety semilac approval like that several uh, you know recognitions and uh, you know that uh, gave a confidence for uh, our scientists and technologists to give the service to the industry and industry also come up with uh, their own confidence to avail our services that was really given tech i must thank every each and every customer who supported us and uh, including the government departments inspection agencies and uh, you know uh, every employee who came and gone of course everybody has put very small contribution everybody so that made us you know uh, what we are today actually I mean, personally, I, I mean, I know you since you were you were very young. Okay, <laughs> since very very working for the. Uh, what do you mean? I was now. I'm still now young, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I seen the you know the change. You know, the most important the relevance to the industry needs. I mean, the way you transform is what industry is required. You know, you play an important role for the. Uh, Indian rubber and tire industry, whether it's a testing or product development or research needs, you know, and various consulting services. And then uh, and we're also looking at various uh, other center of excellence, not just only for the tire, bigger, bigger, bigger companies, but also on the uh, smaller scale SMEs and particularly talking about toys also. We talk later on this one more about it. OK, let's uh, get into the uh, your, the important event that IRMR is hosting. Um, this is one of the, you know, Indian India have many rubber events, and this is also a well-recognized uh, you know, event you, you host once a year, right? And uh, so it's, it has a conference. Yes, the ones it is hosted in the last one we had in 2018, it was uh, our Diamond Jubilee celebration. And of course, uh, since COVID was, in, you know, in between it came up, so we had a break, long break. So it's now it is after five years this event is organized actually so in fact 2018 was uh, you know remarkably it was celebrated along with the diamond jubilee and we had several events uh, at different locations of the country and uh, final event finale grand finale was in you know associated with 23rd rubber conference in mumbai and so this one is 24th rubber conference actually that's so what is what 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 is uh, what are the main highlights you know in what we, what we can expect in from this con this event uh, during the well uh, you know the set. current uh, scenario is basically talk about uh, you know a lot of changes in the regulations and uh, you know the global uh, scenario also has changed especially uh, one is the talk about circular circular economy the second is uh, sustainability and of course, you know, the industries are undergoing transforming changes, especially the automotive industry is looking forward a huge growth in India. And so uh, IRMRA is one of the testing and the R&D, uh, you know, uh, R&D nodal institute in uh, India uh, in, as a government research institution. So and, uh, we also play a lot of role in that. So the upgrading the facilities, uh, 
occurred to meet that regulations. So the uh, conference and exhibition is more into focusing of uh, such theme basically. So the circularity, sustainability, in terms of materials, technological changes, advancement, and uh, you know, industry 4.0. And so one way the technology is getting advanced. The other way is basically the material challenges are coming up. Environmental friendly materials and and even the you know sustainability in terms of energy conservations, environmental preservations, many things are there. So the the theme of the conference and the schedule of you know the uh, speakers slot, all those things are being you know focused on that. We also organize uh, you know a panel discussion with reference to the end of life of tires, which is very relevant today in India because the end of uh, you know uh, extended producers resp responsibility epr of tire is already out and a uh, lot of uh, protocols are being discussed to manage such a waste tire and um, uh, circularity is also being you know given very very you know prime importance at the government level so the industry is looking forward to implement all such uh, theme together uh, yeah, at the but... same time at the same time, the quality demand from automotive sectors is increasing. Uh, E-vehicle have come, uh, you know, electronic, uh, you know, the electric vehicles with the different changes, challenges. So, you know, the tire labeling, star rating, so many other regulations also come in tire industry. So, IRMRE is slowly upgrading its facilities to support that as well. So, government also is giving support for that so we are into that so so this conference and exhibition will be a very good platform for exchanging the ideas and status and forecasting future uh, trends and how they are going to you know uh, face in future times all those things will be discussed actually so it is a must attend event for every industry absolutely if somebody is not attending it will be a big miss for them basically i can say that because you, I think you're addressing that needs of the world is talking about material, particularly sustainable materials, sustainable regulation changes. You need to update yourself. You're an exporter, uh, and if you want to, re, you know, comply with the regulations, you you have to have participate in this kind of event to update yourself. And because you get a pool of experts together, okay, if you can sit in your office yeah. only, then you not expect to get knowledge from out, you know, of your company. No, it's not possible. You got to get out of your you know, four walls and, and walk to this kind of event and uh, learn from all the pool of experts. You know, it's basically a knowledge bank there, you know, and I, yes. IRMRA mm -hmm. is um, a well-recognized, well-established, you know, R&D, training, all kinds of things. So a must attend event, right? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, we are also organizing parallelly one, you know, workshop on uh, impact of the regulations. Uh, you know, tire industry in terms of automobile automobile sectors, such kind of event also parallelly organized. So it's it's a definitely a must uh, you know uh, event, and I'm sure that uh, those who are participating will get a lot of inputs. As you rightly said, uh, several experts from not only in India across the globe, uh, from Europe, many experts are coming. On. I think almost uh, uh, 50 plus delegates are lined up. They are all speaking in conference as well as they will be present in the you know uh, exhibitions to discuss and exchange their latest technological updates on the testing equipment and you know uh, what's happening in europe which eventually you know india also exports a lot of tires to you know the uh, the world and so global markets so india is also has to comply with such requirements and so on so the the world is looking at india as well as we are looking at export so a lot of things is going to be happening in this conference and expo. And I think that coincidentally, the India is hosting a G20 meet today, right? No, absolutely. So, yeah. And now the world is every every news channel is looking at India right now. You know, looking at what kind of discussions happening with all the uh, leaders of the country, various countries participating. And everybody's talking about so you know great about Indian opportunities for India and also work with India. So it's also, I think IRM also is a part of that uh, India journey. Yeah. Right? In fact, you know even in G20, a lot of agenda is focusing on environmental regulations and making it more mandatory, you know, stringent, and see how India can also achieve 
its own mission, you know, uh, by carbon neutrality. So this is all going to be a part and partial of, you know, the government mission. And definitely this kind of, you know, summit and uh, conference expo will augment, you know, support the uh, industry to come up basically. Even in small industries, you know, that they, we have, uh, you know, uh, in fact, recently signed an MOU with the, uh, you know, uh, an agency who is also exhibiting in conference to save energy about 20 to 30 percentage of the energy cost can be saved by changing little technological, you know, uh, things basically. So all these uh, inputs they will get in the things. Energy cost is very high today and it's growing and it's, it's making industry little incompetitive. So this kind of uh, event attending and changing over the technological advancement, making automations, all will make in Indian industry also to be more competitive and to meet the global changes and global needs, basically. Uh, this, these are the things really we are looking into it, actually. Super. So it, it definitely, I'm re reiterating again, it's a, a must attend event for everyone, you know, to be involved with the oh, industry. Um, can you talk a little bit about, you know, I think you already touched about various uh, speakers coming from the different parts of the world and uh, experts. And, uh, um, yes. Can you, uh, can, can you please highlight some of the key speakers and their topics, you know, and uh, of course you, you generalize it in terms of materials and regulation and things like that. It would be nice to know some of the key, of course, every every speaker is important and we can't, we can't put everybody's names here today, but um, at least you can highlight a few of the keynote speakers. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. In terms of speakers, if we say that, you know, uh, we have uh, assembled the speakers from different angles, basically. One is the industry, then the academic, as well as, uh, you know, R&D, and also uh, some of the, uh, you know, the technological changes in the equipment manufacturers. So it is uh, uh, versatile in all the fields of expertise, basically. If I say that from, you know, uh, starting from IIT Karakpur to, you know, um, uh, uh, R&D institutions, defense establishments, and some of the leading universities who are all conducting research in, uh, uh, you know, uh, tire and polymers, especially the waste management. Today is a huge focus is on waste management, value additions of the waste, waste to wealth basically, and also, uh, you know, bringing the sustainable materials while handling the worst. Again, there should not be any kind of, you know, uh, environmental pollution. So there is always a, you know, a cautionary, you know, precautions to be taken into that. So all those things are going to be discussed in that. So we have speakers uh, from abroad as well, you know, from Germany as well as uh, from US and uh, also from IIT and, you know, universities. So name a few like the Professor Anil K. Bomik is here, will be here for talking and uh, especially he's going to talk about the energy transition research and rubber research with reference to energy uh, things basically. So how that, uh, you know, um, the industry is coping up with such kind of changes and similarly, you know, uh, some of the advancement in, uh, you know, pyrolysis. Uh, you know, advancement in pyrolysis and the byproducts of waste products and also some of the, you know, Unido expert is, expert is going to talk about the, uh, you know, the interdisciplinary research from paper waste to, you know, rubber and plastics and all the things, that kind of things are there. And uh, materials uh, oriented research, you know, projects and such kind of things. Even the, uh, you know, the biomaterials, bio, biological, uh, bio source based materials. Yeah. So the topics are very versatile, basically, which, uh, um, you know, many, many conferences last uh, seven, eight years, people have been talking about sustainable research. But, but of course, uh, our team, uh, you know, we got a very good team to coordinate with the uh, juicy uh, you know, speakers across the globe who are very well expert in the field of, uh, uh, you know, topics. And we have assembled them basically, like, you know, uh, Dr. Amit Das and Dr. Abhijit Bandavadhyay and uh, Professor Abhishek uh, Sharma and, you know, Dr. Virendra Gupta. Like, you know, there are many experts who are all there from uh, various, uh, you know, industries. And uh, from tire industry, uh, Mr. S.K.P. Amarnath is, uh, you know, global R&D. He's also speaking on, you know, the future technologies, especially 
focusing on circularity and you know sustainability so um, we try to bring uh, experts from different uh, fields basically you know and industry mainly so it is a connect between industry and r d and academics so all the three are more important to achieve the future challenges uh, i'm sure that like basically having you know panel discussions and this kind of workshops and uh, you know interactions networking all those things would give a lot of uh, takeaways in this uh, conference actually yeah one thing i observed the uniqueness about i don't want to say uniqueness but a special speciality about this conference is that you brought you know researchers from different parts of india you have you know we, you have universities in south you have in north you have northeast you know and uh, I, i've seen the agenda that you you have a, a broad spectrum of um, researchers from the different parts of india it can showcase the what kind of research is happening in india probably for the people coming from outside India, even in industry itself, in Indian industry, um, they should collaborate not just with IRA Marie, but they also can collaborate with whatever the near yeah. to them, whether it's IIT Karakpur or Kusat or uh, Mahatma Gandhi University. There are many universities are also yeah. offering yeah. Uh, along, along, along with the academic education, but also they're conducting the um, active research, industry oriented research also. I think so it's a really a pool of uh, um, Indian uh, rubber Technology and researchers, uh, you know, coming together in under the umbrella of the IRMRA, yeah? right? Yeah. Yes, yes. In fact, you know, the, even the concept of uh, circular economy and sustainability have gone into even to the, for example, defense industry. They use uh, uh, strategic materials very small amount, but still they think about that. It's not that like, you know, we are not using too many products, too much of volume, but still. So the sustainability, the circularity concept is gone every level. So we also have a speakers from DRDO also, Dr. Nadure is coming from, you know, NPO and like that. So this really brings out a wonderful gathering, I'm sure. And it's a must attend <laughs> process. So super. I mean, it's definitely a must attend event. Let's talk about exhibition. Of course, you know, conference is one thing that you learn from the experts. The exhibition gives you the um, op opportunity to update the new technologies from the suppliers and also networking, right? So what kind of technologies exhibitors are exhibiting in this, this, this event? Well, exhibition is basically you now focused on, uh, again, the, the concept of sustainability, circularity, wherein that we could get uh, uh, several types of uh, things like it, like you materials and you know uh, showcasing some products also uh, energy as I, I told you that like you know energy conservations some people are there and new product development with reference to you know circular economy and uh, in fact you know even we are uh, you know going to demonstrate some of the technologies with reference to you know uh, the current theme that like IRMRS technology also will be displayed over there, which which is available for commercializations. All those things would be you know available for uh, things. So we it's it's a you know a kind of mini expo. I can say it's not a very big expo as compared to the other uh, events, uh, but uh, you know but we have all all of them are together basically, and so we have uh, you know major uh, uh, tire industries like Apollo, MRF. They are all there as uh, part of uh, exhibition and um, even the uh, carbon black from uh, carbon black manufacture from the waste tire the finster carbon is displaying that thing basically so you see that the theme is uh, very much uh, fulfilled there actually so some industry who is making uh, you know pillars from uh, waste tire to you know and also from bio source and so there are uh, such kind of things plus some of the advancement in the uh, you know, technological uh, advancement also there. There. Other than that, we have uh, OEM uh, equipment manufacturers from Europe. Basically, we have um, several principals are coming here to showcase their tire testing equipments, especially for forecasting the global automotive challenges. And so, Indian uh, tire and automotive industry is going forward to upgrade their uh, equipment facilities. So we have a few principles uh, which uh, they are coming and showcasing their, uh, uh, you know, uh, latest updates on the tire testing and other equipments. 
and uh, similarly you know the 3d printing technologies all those uh, so latest technologies all will be there to showcase in that so that is also you know must attend uh, exhibition i can say that basically it, it's it's a conference delegates will have an opportunity to connect with the technology suppliers and yes. they get you know explore the new ways of doing things okay not only from the experts but also from the technology supplier as well yes and I am one thing I found is that uh, ARMA is offering a special arrangement for the SMEs or MSMEs uh, to participate yes, as well, right? Yeah, so yes. that is a very, uh, very good feature of the your event, mm -hmm. as because I've yeah. seen a lot, lot of events, lot of it's across the world, and right. supporting the supporting the MSMEs or SMEs, you may call it, and you know? also uh, it is very important. I'm, I do appreciate that you take that lead on that supporting and talk about that. How is the response and how is the feedback and uh, what is the intention towards it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, ever since it is uh, established, IRMR is always supporting the small industries. Basically, you know, purposefully, it, the purpose of IRMR is existence is that, especially the non-tire industry. You know, if we talk about the tire industry, they are well organized, they have well qualified the team and the laboratories, expertise, everything. Whereas the small and medium scale, you know, industries. Even the startups, they don't have that kind of, you know, um, facilities. They cannot, obviously, they cannot uh, have such a huge investment and setup. So, being IRMR, a nodal R&D institutes from government of India point of view also, and uh, we always encourage, uh, you know, MSME institutes or industries to come forward and participate. So, we encourage even now in this, uh, you know. Um, conference as well as expo we found that uh, several uh, msme would like to participate so they are very keen to participate and uh, we also you know uh, encourage uh, education institutes because one of the aspect is that industries are struggling to get manpower actually so we are going to give some connect between the academics and uh, you know the industry also so we also uh, you know organized some workshops for the students especially from the nearby universities, wherein that you know the students, the probably you know the chemistry students, polymer students, and MBA and other probable students who can be employed in rubber industry. So create the awareness. So we bring them also and connect with the industry. So this is another initiative which we have brought over here, basically. Uh, and so we, we found uh, MSMEs. Obviously, we cannot uh, you know avoid. So we have created a pavilion of IRMRE pavilion uh, where that MSME can come and showcase their uh, you know, product. We given the table space. Uh, so it, those cannot afford to set up your stall. They said like money is not a problem for you. It should not be a criteria. So we give even if, if somebody is not having that much, we, we give uh, you know, throw away price you know, for a table space. Even if somebody wants to come and display at free of cost, also no problem. If they request, we will accommodate. Doesn't matter. The purpose is that one should come and participate and see that you know they are able to get more benefits actually. So there has been request basically give some more discount, etc. So if they are they are, those who are not members, they become member of IRMRE, so they avail the discount. So th these are the things happened uh, over uh, last few months actually. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad that many uh, small scale industries are going to be immensely benefited by having exhibited as well as participated in the conference. And as you rightly said, you know, it, it provides the equal opportunity even you, you have a less resources, okay, but you still have not access to you know, be part of that uh, you know, action. Yeah, and uh, yeah. so export opportunities. And so, and uh, you know, you uh, one thing you talked about is the students and the engaging students with the, to give them exposure to the what's the real world of the rubber industry. You know, sustainability is not just about materials, machines only. Actually, the, the these people That's right. and, and power. Power. Yeah. Okay. And you know, we are living, we are living in a different world now. You know, the technology, advanced technology, rubber industry. Still, you know, it's a uh, you know, you need a. Uh, hard-working manpower because it's a dirty industry compared to the IT and other things. Of course, there are some changes happening with, due to the IoT or I, AI, but uh, still a need, um, you know, it's a manpower-dependent industry. Okay? And, uh, 
if you want to stay in the business for a long term, we need the people and people interested in our in this line of business. It's good to know that you emphasize on that uh, aspect also for the benefit of the industry. So super. Hey man, not only for this, in, fact, you know, yeah. in fact, not only for this. In fact, anybody wants to do any kind of you know internship or uh, projects at IRM or EA, I always say that you just come through your institute or professors, write to us and come and do it basically. So have experience of IRMRA feeling, you know, what we are doing, how we are doing. So getting the exposure of such a wonderful, you know, infrastructure itself gives a change of out, outlook for the students basically. So we always encourage that students to come and participate in this kind of expo or even otherwise they always come to our institute for conducting the research. We, we always encourage that actually. <laughs> And also, uh, you know, we can't live without rubber. As simple as that. No matter how much you got gadgets you have, rubber is a place key role. You know, the moment you're <laughs> born, till you die. Okay, so uh, it is an important component of our life, and we need to make sure that you know we have the right people uh, to work right. for the industry. So, yeah. Yeah. In fact, are... you know, the students are not much aware of the rubber technology is as a carrier actually. They look for, you know, as you rightly said, IT or engineering or, you know, doctor or something. So, you know, we say that like, you know, it's today is about nearly one lakh floor turnover is a rubber industry, Indian economy uh, contribution, basically. So if they want to become, uh, you know, next to five, six years, it's going to be nearly doubling the economy. That means we need huge manpower for rubber industry. So those who wants to take up as, you know, pursue uh, their career in rubber industry equally, we help them. So we say that like we also conduct online courses and the MSc program, we have it. We are also soon is going to be, you know, conducting some more diploma and other courses. You know, as I told you last time also, I told that like, you know, the IRMRE is changing its name into Institute. Very soon it will be Indian Rubber Materials Research Institute. The government has given the clearance for establishing the, you know, changing the name, of course, as an institute. So with that name change, we have, uh, uh, you know, a lot of uh, role to play as a human resource development. So we are bringing more academics into that. So that makes our scientists also to do more conducting research. If you see last uh, five, six years, our patents, publications have gone up by numbers, basically, and also the quality of research has gone up. And so that, that's really helping us also. So we, we are into, you know, uh, helping rubber world through manpower and human resource development actually so that is also going on parallelly we will be uh, doing more and more in near future as well actually and at this kind of event gives them understand more about IRMRE as well you know what's happening at IRMRE and how to collaborate and cooperate with IRMRE whether it is for the the product development or manpower recruit you know training okay or, or all other things so Every rubber industry in or entire industry in, in India or abroad, they should open the doors to work with the IRMRA. So, yeah, that's so, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving it a lot of PR for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but it's, it's, it, it is a truth that I mean, I, as I've been seeing uh, changes at the IRMRA, I'm personally, you know, knowing, personally, I know a lot about IRMRA, their activities. Uh, it's a good institute uh, to work and collaborate for the development of industry in their own business. So, um, okay, let's so you know get into the um, you know you are you've been the director for the last seven years, is it right? Yeah, seven since years. 2016, of course. Yes, almost seven eight years. Yeah. It's okay. So, oh, what is what are what kind of things are you know on the plate for the next few years? You know, what is your vision for the IRMRE? Or how do you oh, want to see IRMRA? Of course, the institute turn up is going to is is happening sooner or later, right? Yeah. That's right. Maybe. That's that's the main change which you know um, I'm eagerly looking forward. Even though it's it's been initiated uh, uh, around, during the period of COVID, of course, but you know due to COVID it got little delayed. But now uh, actively we are pursuing that matter, and we will be soon. The name will change basically. And it's not just going to be a change of name as such, but it is, you know, uh, the vision, mission, all those things we are reviewing it and upgrading, especially 
you know uh, our uh, current president uh, dr r mukabadiyai is also very much you know uh, guiding and supporting us to see how irmra should help uh, you know into the academics and also you know conducting research which is need, needed for the industry especially you know he always say that basically irmra support msmes and uh, non tier especially non tier industries though irmra is upgrading the facilities to support uh, you know in the tier industry because uh, it's a need of the hour for the government regulations and all like so one way is uh, we are upgrading our facilities for that and second is uh, uh, we always look at that like how we can support uh, uh, government mission for example the quality control orders basically so that is basically to support uh, indian rubber industry uh, for uh, sustainability especially we are into a mission of uh, you know import substitutions so how we can help import substitutions so one way is that uh, you know upgrading indian quality uh, in the product quality basically so the upgrading the standards aligning with iso standards or upgrading standards to the international uh, quality norms and then bringing out the quality control orders especially our department is very keen to do that we have been doing several products are already on the list so uh, one way is that to support such a list of quality control order irmra is one of the uh, you know bas approved uh, research and development agency uh, for not only for testing but also for you know playing a key role in standardization and upgrading the standards etc and also we have a center of excellence for uh, toys design and development so we are establishing so one of the sponsored project from the government and uh, then we also have some research projects from ministry of textiles uh, you know where uh, technical textiles obviously you know the technical textile play a lot of role in rubber industry as a reinforcing material so uh, we do bring a lot of research into that and um, also some of the strategic uh, product development for you know uh, various government sectors like uh, you know uh, uh, nuclear uh, organization and defense organization and also we keep contributing wherever there is a problem or you know some strategic products requirements we keep supporting that so in that way you know irmra is going to be you know growing uh, very well uh, with the uh, growth of indian industry uh, automobile industry and as well as Uh, meeting the defense and other needs basically so we are into different uh, uh, level and of course um, our uh, uh, service is getting extended to north india also so i am glad that like very soon we will be our uh, dr mukabate president uh, irmra has also said that basically uh, we must have our presence in north india also so accordingly uh, we have proposed to the government and um, very soon the government will Uh, you know give a funding for that also so these these are the latest developments so maybe next our next sitting we will uh, talk more, more about yeah that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you know i'm very glad to know the all the things that you are you know planning and in the execution stage and uh, one thing every indian proud about is uh, in recently it happened you know we land our not planning on this moon right Is, are you guys are doing anything on the space applications and the rubber, related to the rubber industry i think that uh, yes. mypol is the one mypol has uh, has their own products in there as well in chandrayaan right you know, so um, what because this is i think everybody is looking at india can do and india is doing a lot in the space you know i think this is one of the areas is may grow a lot in the future okay and uh, So, is IRMR is in getting involved in this? We are uh, in touch with. We are interacting with uh, you know, including space research organizations. Uh, in fact, uh, I, I guess uh, some of the delegation is likely to come to our uh, conference also. We yeah, our scientists are in touch with. So we, we are we are doing that. Actually. See, sometimes uh, uh, some of the secret missions are not revealed with things basically, but you know, uh, obviously we we are working with uh, uh, such. Uh, Uh, you know areas also so we, we have uh, several um, you know government agencies where we are in the strategic product development activities we support uh, in such kind of missions basically more importantly even the private industries who are part of such things and they uh, send the samples to uh, do their test and qualifications 
that knowingly or unknowingly we are always part of that system basically we don't know that where they are uh, supplying to but uh, we, we give always our opinion and testing certifications and consultations so many a times that uh, many such things are happening behind the scene that we don't know basically and i am glad that like you know the indian rubber industry you know uh, a few industries have been part of that and as a proud indian that we must encourage more and we should do it more and more such things basically so, yeah. sure sure um, definitely the good days more good days are there in the future for us for the, in the space application for india and that's right and, uh, yeah. uh, you know one thing that i know about you personally is about you on being a, as a director of the irmi and also you are active member of the tc45 iso committee on the rubber products so um can you talk about um, you know the experience of developing the standards for the industry i mean yeah of course you know um, tc45 is uh, i've been associated uh, since 2000 i think 3 of course almost uh, 20 years now actually in fact uh, uh, i am one of the long service uh, awardee from tc45 <laughs> that's the thing and last two, four five years we could not uh, physically participate because of the covid i think uh, uh, you know one thing that this year we are coming to uh, thailand actually my hometown. <laughs> That's right. This I'm year, looking forward Thailand. to see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Most, mostly we will see that, of course. Our Indian delegates would be interested to come and uh, meet you all there in uh, Thailand. And of course, this has been uh, long due, basically. And of course, it's going to be, you know, sequentially is pushed back, actually. Otherwise, it, it was supposed to be sometime a few years back, actually. And this year it is in Thailand, next year, Japan. After that, uh, India is going to host as well. So 2025, India will be hosting that. And in fact, you know, uh, that TC45 gives a lot of you know, insight uh, to interact with the various international experts of different fields, name the raw materials, raw, mat raw rubber, raw materials, chemicals, then, um, you know, uh, product standards, hoses, and even the environmental sustainability i i wish you know uh, i i know that like just to add a sustainability word into the environment uh, committee we had about two hours discussion i think it was way back in 2005 or six basically i, I don't remember remember but um, so uh, you know the last 20 years almost it has been discussed and they bring standards especially to how to regulate what are the you know emission norms many things basically so that gives updation of uh, you know uh, what's happening abroad basically and other countries so that we can bring in india and uh, so we try to align ourselves our national standards also gets aligned with that and in fact uh, i being one of the you know uh, chairman of the committee for uh, our uh, uh, national committee that is bas pcd 29 which talks about the test methods basically so uh, it's a, it was earlier a subcommittee of PCD 13, but later on the work was very vast, so they have made me as a committee chairman. And so in that we have done a lot of you know um, harmonization of our standard with ISO. So what we did is that adopting the dual numbering system under dual, dual numbering system, ISO standards are adopted, and so that means that basically Indian standard becomes at par with ISO. So that is the one way that we have done that. And also, you know, we also participate actively in, uh, you know, uh, ISO level. So that shows that basically we are also contributing in ISO standards and vice versa. We adopt the ISO standards in India. So this kind of, uh, you know, work is happening. And especially the, you know, the terminology committee which talks about, you know, new terminologies, then environmental, uh, you know, uh, uh, sustainability is big forum where uh, you know i think that is the one committee where almost 50 60 people are attend every time basically so they talk about you know what is being banned which country and how alternative what is that so it gives a big opportunity for the business also so that's the, how it really gave huge experience and um, india is again uh, is developing a lot of things uh, new standards are being developed and similarly also the toys you know the, the we are uh, also you know uh, regulating the toys imports basically so developing the import you know and indian indigenous toys to substitute import 
uh, like that it's happening so there are also uh, new standards are being developed actually so it's really a good experience to you know uh, support our national standards body by way of expert advice and all that things basically and it's it's, it's more you know this kind of tc tc 45 you brings you bring the exchange of knowledge from different experts from different parts of the world mm -hmm. and at the same time you also can improve the local standards for meeting the global level of quality you know and so mm -hmm. i think this is this is uh, very important for the industry to get to know about what's going on yeah. you know, in the yeah, yes, in fact, uh, uh, we have been disseminating this knowledge and um, experience to the industry. Uh, we want more industry to participate. I mean, our Indian rubber industry experts should more come forward to participate at national level as well as international level. Uh, somehow, I feel that like, you know, uh, all the industries are ignoring which they should come forward. Actually, It's a message uh, that it should be disseminated that uh, uh, more experts should come forward and uh, contribute for national standardization and thereafter to the international level actually so it is very important otherwise what happens somebody makes standard at uh, you know abroad uh, international level and we need to follow it rather you should lead there actually so i always you know uh, talk in different forum that you know experts should come from different industry to take part in the discussions and uh, upgradation of our indian standard and then lead the quality basically yeah i mean basically it's whether it's international standards or it's basically you try to develop a global standards india can also meet you know so correct you can no, look down meet, if you attend such meetings you will know what's happening in other countries so you know what to do so that you can think much more in advance what we can do it or at least you know to uh, meet that particular requirements you will take less time to develop yourself to meet such challenges otherwise uh, we are much behind in some cases uh, so that is very important actually so i think IMR takes an you know, important role to sharing the transferring the these learnings from these meetings to the industry at least some of them yeah. not everyone uh, at least yeah. some of the yeah. industry people benefit many people don't this. know how the standards are made even you know so people they don't know basically you know so they simply say that you know somebody is asking for a certificate please give me a certificate and they come with the certificate you know the standard which is much very old standard or they, it cannot be done or still they are using the old materials which is outdated you know like that so we we need to up, update not only them also their customers so irmra plays such a crucial role in upgrading by this is what happening this this already this material is outdated the standard is revised now so all such things are happening so unless we attend such kind of meetings we will not be able to you know upgrade ourselves basically that's right one problem i what i've been i've been, I've been observed is that uh, when you develop a standard you send the you know uh, this information the draft standards to the industry ask them to give some feedback you may not get that good feedback you keep on asking that's right you know <laughs> that is a big challenge you know and uh, you guys okay depend on a couple of people give some feedback and you know you finalize the standard but once standard a standard is established oh you know they may think that's later true. yeah that's true in fact you know uh, they don't even know that the, the 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 standards draft standards are wide circulated and it is kept for comments actually you know and later on uh, when it comes for a mandatory certifications they wake up all sudden that basically oh my god this is to be complied with so i don't know where the laboratory is what is the product, you know, whether the product will pass or fail they, they come for you know uh, testing and certification all those things so that's really you know uh, that gap is still there actually so if people participate in this IRMRS 24th rubber conference and expo in Chennai, so they get exposed to the all these things. What we have discussed. In so fact, far. one of the one of the lecture is from BAS. Uh, okay. You know, the under secretary of uh, you know the PCD 13 is also there. So he will he will also talk about you know the standardization and <laughs> what is going on. So that's that's the thing basically. So this gives uh, you know. In fact, all our uh, Indian delegates are assembling over there. We are having a briefing meeting. Who will attend which meeting or subcommittee meeting? So we kept this conveniently. So all our experts are assembling over there. So it's going to be a you know meeting of all our own Indian delegates as well. And so BA is also is participating. So every forum we give opportunity to interact with all the stakeholders. Name it academicians industrialist 
our r and d specialist including the standardization and of course our joint secretary is also going to be there and uh, some more government representatives will be there to interact with all those things basically it will be a good you know interaction for uh, uh, that you know the the participants and delegates so we would say it's not just only the a must attend it is a perfect meeting point for every rubber industry person to come and join learn from the experts exchange ideas information is it right rajkumar yeah, yeah. absolutely absolutely okay. yeah because one if you want to meet all of them only those three days that's it we have to otherwise we don't know that like you know whether all of them will be available okay, you cannot go and meet everybody you know they will not exchange ideas so that is a forum where definitely they exchange the card they, they talk about they discuss about so it's it's a really a perfect forum to interact and otherwise a small uh, you know small scale industry person may not know even you know who are all experts in this field of you know on industry basically so it is a perfect forum to know that like and to you know, interact with industry experts r and d experts and all that thing basically definitely it is a must <laughs> yeah yeah rash we we'll let's uh, uh, end this session i, I wish you are all attending i wish yeah, we... yes of course of course and I welcome you. Know, you. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm organizer of events like what you do. So yes, and and Technobiz is one of the media partner for us. Thank you for uh, hosting this event and uh, also, you know, uh, promoting our event. And look forward to, you know, host you there. And thereafter, I'll come to Thailand where we can sure. meet during the meeting, sure. TC party. Yeah. Meeting, actually. We, we believe in, um, if you're educating the people with the right information, they prosper they do right things they prepare the right products and they become the part of the economy growth and eventually everybody benefits not just on the financial benefit of the co company but also the whole country so even events like what you are doing or what technology is doing is the same objective is creating an opportunity is a platform for them to meet and read exchange information so that they do the right things they prepare from themselves for the future you know uh, what they need to do, how to change themselves, how to evolve themselves. Okay. So, Raj Kumar, thank you very much for sharing the input on the, you know, of your 24th rubber conference in the Expo, which will be held on the 21st to 23rd September in Chennai at the Chennai Trade Center. Any final message, you know, asking them? Yes, I would like to thank uh, the sponsors who are all, you know, really, uh, you know, the platinum sponsor, uh, you know, gold sponsors, diamond sponsors, bronze uh, sponsors, supporters. Every sponsor has contributed uh, uh, in a great manner for this success program. And also the government support and, you know, for guiding the team and organizing committee. And also our uh, governing council members and our uh, president, past presidents, and of course you know the my internal team members organic organizing committee i have wonderful team who, who is doing extremely well they are able to coordinate with all that you know because they know the industry people very well and they're able to gather all so many speakers and exhibitors they are extremely well so i must acknowledge their contributions and uh, exhibitors uh, advertisement persons, media persons like you, many people who are directly and indirectly contributing for gathering this big gathering, and also you know, um, you know, all other supporters, caterers, many people who are going to be part of it. I wish that the event will be very greatly uh, successful with all the support. I am looking forward to uh, welcome everybody every rubber industry professionals industrialists academicians and delegates participants in a wholehearted manner to come and take the benefit for which this forum is organized i am looking forward at any point of time any help they are looking forward we are there our team is always geared up we are all reaching two three days before and we will be there to help them basically we lined up series of uh, hotels in different uh, tariffs and so there should not be any difficulty for availability of accommodations and all those things are being taken care it is a phone call away or email away that they should just contact our team 
so that they will be more made more comfortable to stay in uh, chennai and you know they can explore the things those who are coming from abroad they can you know experience the chennai and around indian you know uh, culture and uh, diversified you know food other things so we will make the event more memorable so i am extremely looking forward you know to welcome all of you thank you very much thank you rajkumar you know definitely guys you know if you are not if you have not planned yet it's a time to go to the website of irmra.asia.com or oh, sorry irmra.asia and you register yourself and as you see we hear we heard from the convener of the chief convener of the irmra conference dr rajkumar today learn about all issues why it is so important so it's a a must attend a perfect meeting point for all the rubber industry profession rubber and tire industry professional we are sometimes we need to use the word tire as well so sometimes people think rubber yes. is everything. <laughs> right. so we don't need so, we, we, we for everybody you know latex yes. experts are yes. there tire experts are there tire non tire chemicals instruments equipment everybody is there basically so we have experts talking in all the subjects so one must not miss that that's true that's true <laughs> yeah Okay, guys, I'm going to end the session with Dr. Rajkumar. I believe that you learned about this event and also the, uh, what kind of activities at IRMR and their vision for the industry. And I look forward to welcome you and seeing you there. Uh, I'm also inviting you all, along with Dr. Rajkumar, go and participate in the uh, IRMR. <laughs> I'm speaking in Tamil, welcoming all of them, basically. <laughs> so, Please do visit, join on the, during the 21st to 23rd September in Chennai at Chennai Trade Center on the 24th IRMRS Rubber Conference and Expo. And Chennai is a beautiful place, great food. So you must visit and participate. Enjoy this. Uh, as Dr. Rajkumar has said, it's going to be a memorable event for learning and also an event that you enjoy it. Okay? So thank you all for joining this session. I'm hoping to see you all in Chennai soon. Bye-bye for now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Baron.